So you kept working and I kept working a little bit. So I have some flower shapes cut out. I've glued down my vase. What I'm gonna do now is cut out a strip here to make my flower stem. And I'm just gonna cut off some pieces of that. And I have three flower blossoms, so I'm gonna do three of these stems. And you guys know it would look kind of weird if they were all the same size. So I'm gonna lay these out so I have a plan. I'm gonna zoom in a little closer since this cardboard looking stuff is the same color. It might be hard to see. So I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter. I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter. So when I glue these down, I'm gonna get a little dot of glue here, put dots at the top and the bottom. And if I can slide that behind the vase shape, then it looks even more like it's in there. Press that down. Then I'll glue down my flower buds on there. Or I guess I should say blossoms would be the right word. So dots of glue around the edges. Kind of a big shape, so I'm going to put some in the middle. So I think what I want to see happening is I want it to look like one of the flowers, the tall one, is going to be overlapping the others. And we know what overlap means. It means they're touching, but they're touching in a way where something is in front of something else, therefore something is behind something else. So I have this ready. So you guys are gonna keep working on yours, gluing down all your parts, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna print with this.